YouTube family. Okay, so I don't know what has gotten into my husband, but this weekend he got me a room to like have a break and have like a mommy day off some time to myself with myself without having to deal with the kids and whatnot. So I just checked into the Hilton. Um, this is really nice. Like king size room all to myself. I don't got to share with nobody. Like it's amazing. But here, let me give you guys a tour of the room. Okay, here's the bathroom. I love this mirror. Bathtub, all that stuff. I'm so taking a bath tonight. Oh. The rest of the room. Watching Gods of Egypt. Don't mind my outfit, y'all. I'm like in relaxation mode right now. And then like a little mini balcony, I think. Yeah, you can step out onto this. Not that I'm going to, I feel like, because it is really windy today. But, yeah, you can step out onto the balcony. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to lock this back. So most likely I'm just gonna, like I brought some, like my planner and my notebooks. I'm gonna try to handle like business stuff. I got some labels I need to make. Um, just kind of plan out how I'm gonna prepare for this launch, all the products and stuff I need to make. So they have like a little desk. So I'm gonna sit down to the little desk, get some planning done, or maybe just sit on the bed that I don't have to share with anyone I can just fully just stretch out like I'm so excited y'all so excited and I remembered almost had to turn around I remembered my bottle of wine at home so I have that all to myself don't gotta share so I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator so I can stay chilled yeah yay for mommy's day off I'm so excited all right, guys, so it's been a couple hours, and I've just been going over, like, all my inventory stuff, what soaps get made with what, what days I'm going to be making what soaps on. So it is now, where's the clock? 7.22. So I'm about to order dinner, and at first I thought, let me turn the camera around. At first, I thought I was going to head out and go pick something up because there's like a lot of restaurants around this hospital. Hospital? What? Hotel. But I decided I don't feel like it. So I'm just going to order some good old room service. Hopefully, they have something good. All right. Here is their menu. This is the breakfast. Ouch. The breakfast side. And this is the all-day dining. Um... I don't know if I want to stay on my diet and get something healthy or if I just want to splurge on myself. Mm. Pan fried Brussels sprouts. I love me some Brussels sprouts, but in a lemon pepper vinaigrette, I don't know about that. No, I don't want a quesadilla. You can't trust everybody's deviled eggs, so we're not going to go there. Um, buffalo hot sauce, barbecue sauce, honey chipotle sauce. Ooh. All right. The honey chipotle sauce sounds nice, but then you can never go wrong with good old buffalo wings. I don't know. So I'll most likely get the jumbo chicken wings appetizer. Yeah. And then, oh, there's more pages. Um... I don't want a salad. Ooh, street tacos. Tempura fried avocado. Alright, we might do street tacos and wings. Is that a weird combination? 
Because I think the rest is just like burgers, flatbreads, entrees. Yeah, no. Okay. So we're going to do street tacos and wings. Where is the phone? There's the phone. Okay guys, so they have a Chili's like right up the street, so I ordered online to do curbside pickup. I'm just about to go, drive there, get my food, come back, and eat, and I don't know, I guess watch Avatar or something. So this is my car, that is a giant bus, I'm gonna eat for Team Trump to move. Who does this atrocity belong to? Seriously. Time to go be a Karen, talk to management. Okay, so we're back at the room. I got the food. I got the mix and match trio fajita. So it's steak, chicken, and shrimp. And then I got myself dessert, which is like a, just a giant chocolate chip cookie with vanilla ice cream. Um, And then I have best part my good old glass of wine and yes this is a very tall glass of wine and I feel like I deserve it so don't judge me but let me just tell y'all that was such an ordeal like after the people moved their little Trump bus I pull out I put the address to Chili's into my GPS it said it was like 0.6 miles away cool so it tells me to make a turn. I'm driving for a little bit. Mind you, the roads are dark as ever. I'm praying the whole drive. Like, God, please don't let any deers jump out right now. Like, I don't got time for those kinds of problems. So, after going, like, half a mile and into darkness, like, there are no street lights. It doesn't look like any sort of businesses are anywhere in this area. I pull over in a neighborhood. And I'm like, all right, I'm just going to put the address in again. It tells me to turn around, come back the way that I was coming. And guess where Chili was? Chili's was directly across the street behind Target. Why my GPS took me all around Robin's Barn and still didn't take me to the right place, I have no idea. But I finally got my food. It's ridiculous. Good morning, family. So, it is 5.26 in the morning. And I'm awake because my phone started going off with alerts. So, I check it and there are alerts from my bank. Notifying me that I have, like, saying that my transaction at Walmart was a, just approved for $159.99. I haven't been to Walmart. I have been asleep. Like, sprawled out, knocked out in this king size bed. My credit card, my debit card rather, is right across from me in my purse, in the room with me. So then I get another alert that another transaction on my debit card was approved 
but this time for $319.58. What is happening? I was asleep. So then my bank sends me a text message like, oh, did you make this transaction? No, I did not. Absolutely not. So I call the number that it tells me to call, call my bank, get on the phone with the fraud department. It's too early for this. Like, so we had to fill out a whole like fraud application or whatever, like, Theo headbutt me. Don't worry about it. Bust my lip. Whatever. But my money. <laughs> like. Early in the morning. In the middle of the night. Just really. Somebody really just took. My money. I don't even want to stay here no more. I'm ready to go. Like at first I was thinking like. Okay maybe after I came back from Chili's. I left my purse in the car and maybe I didn't lock my car door and so that is how somebody got in the car and they got my card. But no, my card is right here with me. So unless, I don't even know. Like, I, I don't. Like, then they were asking like all these questions like, is your card tied to any of these Kind of services, like, no, absolutely not. Like, high key, not even low key. I am a very boring person. I don't have my card tied to anything out of the ordinary besides Disney Plus and Netflix. So, I don't, I just, wow. It is a hell of a way to wake up. Like, so now they canceled my card. And I have to go to Navy Federal and get a new card. But that's just such a headache. Like, you know how, like, changing everything that that card is tied to and now you have to put it on. Oh, this is annoying. But now they were saying, like, since the transactions are still pending, they have to wait until they actually post and then... They file the fraud charges. But does that mean I get my money? Like, I, this is too much. This is absolutely too much. Like, and I want to go back to sleep, but I'm up now. Like, you take my money, I'm up. Wide awake. Oh. All I wanted to do was sleep in a bed by myself, drink my wine by myself, uh, eat my food by myself. This, was that too much to ask? Like, really, was it too much to ask? This is foolishness. Uh, I can't even finish this damn wine because I got to... Oh. So, I'm just going to head out. Like, I don't know if it's because like I hooked up my tablet to the Wi-Fi for the hotel or like what it was. But the last thing I bought was last night's dinner. And I ordered that online. So, I don't know if that was it. But, whatever. I'm over it. I can't use my bank card anyway, so it's not like I can go out and do anything with myself because, you know, my dumb butt, I don't carry cash on me like that. So I'm just going to go home. I'm just going to head on out, get myself down this highway. Uh -oh.